all right, I'm going to be sitting in stop and go for at least 15 minutes. I took the, the, wrong, <laughs> the wrong turn to go where I need to go. So anyways, thought I'd make my quick video on um, what I'm seeing as a increasing problem in, uh, for my friends who go to church. I, I do have friends, um, I went to, for these people who don't know, I went to a uh, very, very conservative Christian high school, um, but that's where I met some of my best friends. So I, I don't regret going there. I wanted the... Uh, the benefits of a small private school after being in public high school for two years. And so I don't regret that at all. Um, I actually didn't really have any problems other than when I first came out, there were a couple of issues. Um, and basically I told them it wasn't, it wasn't going to be an issue. <laughs> I was like, it's, it's not, it's not going to matter. There was only ever one uncomfortable day during Bible and I just kind of laughed it off. But what, I'm, what I've seen lately um, with a couple of people who still go to church um, is what I, kind of what I think is sort of uh, the, a new push towards kind of what we had back in the 90s, the moral majority. I think that um, as LGBT rights and even like women's wage equality and um, sort of class warfare issues become more front and center, um, conservative Christian churches are feeling the need to kind of have their, their places of worship be kind of these, you know, the last stand for what they view as, uh, being right for, you know, Christianity in America. And, um, the first, the first incident, at least the first recent incident, um, was when I went to, I went to church with a very close, uh, person of mine, and afterwards we were just talking, um, you know, great people, great atmosphere, um, although I'm not a believer, um, I, I definitely understand that for a lot of people, religion plays a critical role in, uh, in their life, so I'm not critical of all religions, um, I think that's a common misconception among people is that, um, especially if you're super liberal, if you're gay, you know, one or both of those things, that you're automatically against all religion, and I'm really not. Um, I was raised in a, in a church. We went to church for the first uh, 13 years of my life pretty solidly. Um, so I'm not against religion, and I'm not, and I think you can be gay and be a Christian. I think there are tons of gay Christians out there uh, who face scorn from the rest of us who say, you know, how can you be, um, how can you be a Christian? They're against gays, first of all, and increasingly a number of churches are, uh, you know, the accepting of gay and lesbians, um, and I think even the majority of Catholics now support marriage equality, um, and I think Catholics are up there pretty high on the list of denominations who support marriage equality. So I don't buy the whole, like, all Christians are against gays, um, but what I've seen are some people that I care a lot about going to churches that um, really seem to be preaching and instituting pretty draconian methods. Uh, this first church I went to, um, discussion afterwards, I discovered that uh, this church doesn't allow women to... Uh, you know, really direct church policy, um, and basically one of the comments that was made was that, you know, if you want to have an opinion on what goes on in church, you need to find a husband, um, and that floored me, I was like, let's go back so I can burn this mother down, um, you know, that, that's shocking, but then, you know, just this last week, I heard, a similar message from a different church by, you know, from an, from a, what an, where another close friend goes. And basically the message there was that women, uh, if you're still single at a certain point, you need to lower your standards and find a husband to marry and start procreating. Um, and then there's also the message of, well, women, you you control the domain of the house. And, uh, that's not to say that, the husband doesn't get any say, 
Um, and then it was, you know, this was the Mother's Day sermon of all things. And, um, you know, said that ultimately the husband has the say over what happens with the children and uh, the wife needs to be, you know, subservient to what the husband says. And, you know, it just, it floored me that in 2011, um, anybody is still advocating that, you know, men and women should be in a marriage and it be anything but equal. And I think that's pretty, pretty messed up, but I don't think that's what, um, you know, sort of what Jesus preached and, you know, talked about. Um, you know, I, I'm obviously not the most learned biblical scholar, um, but I just, the, the, the message that I get from the Bible doesn't square, and yes, if you go to the Bible, you can find verses that say, you know, women should, you know, be subservient to their husbands. You also find, um, you know, passages about how you shouldn't eat self shellfish or wear polyblend um, and I think those passages are just as irrelevant today as ones that talk about, you know, men shall not lie with man as he lay with a woman, or, uh, you know, any of these ones about the woman's role. I mean, to me, it's, it's, I guess my biggest problem is that, um, for people who kind of like laugh it off, like, oh, you're pointing out the ridiculous parts. And, you know, my first thought is, well, a lot of the parts are ridiculous, but, um, you know, to say, if you look at it from kind of an analytical perspective, well, why are those points no longer important? But the points about, you know, disliking or discriminating against gays or uh, having women be second-class citizens, so why are those parts still relevant? And I think it comes down to a lot of, well, who wrote the Bible? A bunch of men. Uh, who, you know, dominates positions of powership in churches, predominantly men, although there are notable exceptions and things are getting better. Um, but you have to wonder, you know, if straight white men are the ones who wrote the Bible and are interpreting the Bible, then it's probably not a surprise that they're the ones that come out uh, most powerful and uh, most unscathed in kind of fundamental Christian Christianity. Um, I mean, it's really, it really shouldn't shock people. Um, and it shouldn't just be like, Oh, that's the way God wants it. It's like, no, there's a reason. Uh, the ones who wrote the Bible, the ones who are interpreting it, um, they have something to lose. Um, if they were to say, you know, women, you are equal. You should be up here on the podium just as much as I should. Or, you know, women and men in marriage, you're equal, you know, work it out. Um, and so I think, you know, and then there's the, um, one of my best friends is, uh, really big on, uh, LGBT equality and, um, she had a run in, she's had a couple run ins with, um, like shirts that she's worn to church activities. And apparently this weekend she wore a shirt that said born this way and, uh, basically got a phone call from a church elder, um, saying that it had ruffled feathers and would she please not wear it anymore. Um, and so, you know, my message is that if you go to a church that, um, you know, f systematically forbids women from, you know, basically the way I feel like a woman should be up for any job that a man should, whether it's in the public sector, the private sector, or in uh, church leadership that, um, you know, to anything less is inequality. And, um, it just really pisses me off. It pisses me off that I feel like, sometimes I feel like people don't understand they're being discriminated against. They just kind of think, oh, that's the way it is. And I think there's, you know, if you don't stand up, I'm the type of person that, you know, in the middle of a law school lecture or presentation, I'll be like, uh, that's bullshit what you just said. Um, and I'd like to thank my parents and my, uh, favorite, uh, undergrad professors for instilling me with that confidence. But, you know, I think that, um, if you're going to a church where women or gays and lesbians are treated to second class citizens, 
um, and not treated the same as the straight white men in the room, then you need to find a new church. But that's just me.